Hi guys, this is Ash. Excuse my voice is going in and out a little bit, but I still have the energy to do this reading. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For this week, starting today, your love check-in, November 14th through the 21st. Let's get a few Oracle cards and see where we're at. So the Chaser. The chaser in a codependent relationship, a fear of abandonment issues, maybe something you're dealing with here. The sword and rose, clarity, truth, revelation, maybe being by yourself, trying to force something, honor, protection, and power. So maybe you're trying to control outcomes or somebody you're dealing with is we also have twin flames here yin yang zen balance union duality coupling complement each other so you and this person may be meeting we're also going to roll the dice to see soon the zodiac signs you may be dealing with and we'll see what's going on with the tarot right now so you may be waiting, preparing, three of wands, trying to get some kind of idea of what's next, planning, prepping, making sure that your next move is the best one. Because I feel like you're not chasing if you're in the three of wands, like you may feel like you're in a prison of your own making of some kind and there may be stress and anxiety and heartbreak going on that you're getting over for some reason. Let's see what this is about. The high priestess, so Pisces energy. You have an inner knowing that you need to trust your intuition about what's next and what you need to do, what it is you need to work on regarding this. It's hopes of a reunion and a message where emotions are able to be discussed but let's see more about this you're single they're single independent stable things are kind of moving slowly in that direction but there's something about you finally having some kind of clarity about what's going on and some kind of codependent issues that's been holding this from being able to really go forward and move to the next level and have that sense of passion that you're really wanting in a relationship because it's like you are getting these messages and synchronicities that may be driving you crazy they are too like they six of pentacles they are too this person is very generous as well i hear that they give you really good gifts but there's something that you guys are needing to walk away from leave behind eight of cups let's see more about this and i'm not gonna hold you guys long this is just gonna be a quick week so somebody's walking away or leaving something behind or trying to let the old dynamic die out in some kind of way. Five of discs, someone's trying to manifest a way for this to materialize and really go the next level so that there's no stress, anxiety, and worries about this connection and this opportunity coming. But there's some kind of toxic things that, that are needed to like basically happen that needs to be broke away from or detached um something about a cancer maybe we've got the chariot two of cups so you're moving forward trying to get the energy to really come into a relationship with somebody you're compatible with but there's a lot of um, confusion, maybe somebody playing mind games, hiding behind a false mask. There's also something about um, five people. And that's what's blocking things from being able to go because there's some big ending that needs to occur. 
I don't know, Aries. I don't know. What is this? Guys, you can also <laughs> know that I do personal readings as well. You can book me for that. I have a special going on for $22 on love readings. So we have the Hermit here, Virgo Energy, the Knight of Swords, King of Cups, the King of Pentacles. So we got a lot of people here. I said five people. You're wanting it's something about you maybe being by yourself and you're trying to change your perception about some things you've maybe had some hostile and aggressive feelings or thoughts towards a water sign that you may have had a long-term condition with that you need to let things go and there may have been some words like some kind of um verbal altercation or um like somebody might have been trying to ask you some things or have some kind of high charge conversation um it's the best way i can put it where they were trying to discuss their emotions and how they may be wanting this for the long term, but this person may have been non-committal. They may have been trying to control things and control their emotions to the extreme where you may have been chasing them or they may have expected you to chase them and then you ghosted them. And now that person's wanting to come back around because they see you in the king. <laughs> I almost said the king because some of you may be males. But um, male or female, queen of wands, magnetic, attractive, really rising above all the BS and now they're wanting to try to make efforts to come back around and stand their ground and try to like relieve some kind of anxieties they have so that's something you want to get into that's there but um let's go ahead and get some moon oracle messages I'm more than ready to close this up and roll the dice and see what kind of signs may be significant for you guys the next signs okay so nothing will come out of this situation whatever this is this week where somebody you left behind may be trying to come back around so hold your vision fixed moon we're in a fixed moon right now last quarter moon will rise on wednesday in leo so um that is going on um don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo is here. So, um, yeah, there's that. So, basically, you whatever it is you're wanting, know that it can happen. Know that it can manifest for you. Um, void, of course, moon is a transit. Meaning that um, really just kind of let things play out uh, the best way I can put that. And I'm going to go ahead and see what um, what sign may be dealing with you or you dealing with this week. So we have Gemini. Gemini placement may be significant for you guys. Um, you probably can't see it good. But um, Gemini is there. Let's see what else. We're going to do three. So Pisces, Pisces, okay. And Aries. So some of you may be dealing with Aries, Pisces, or Gemini this week. And we'll also see what planets may be strong for you as well. We'll roll these dice. Okay, so your south node. All right. Something your south node may be strong. Something with Saturn. All right. What else? Um, something really strong with your South Node because South Node came out twice. So you guys check into that. Um, know that I do do personal readings. I do have that $22 special going on. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up because I know you like this video. Until next time, guys, have a good week. And I'll see you soon.